Why would we do this? Why would we travel over 10,000 miles so unprepared? In a car designed to hold the shopping. In countries that people haven't even heard of. It's not sensible. It's not rational. It's a stupid idea. Right? What is there to gain? What is there to lose? I guess we'll find out. Of July. <laughs> Are you actually filming? Yeah. 16th of July. We're on a boat. Yoink. Welcome to French Radio. <laughs> we are now in Belgium. Belgium. I stood the Turk away. Where is it? I stood the Turk. It's 7 a.m. First pit stop in Belgium. Artdorkerker. <laughs> oh, I love that. You sent me that. That's so good. Lavashki ha. Lavashki ha. Boys, having a wee wee. Yeah. Dirigeer, het valt eigenlijk niet te leren. Je hebt het of je hebt het niet. En technische bagage is belangrijk, maar het gaat vooral om je persoonlijk talent. Hoe sterk voel je? Oh, quite a lot went sideways. I'm for me and yeah. Fuck it. This is off the bean yak. So the journey begins. We spent an evening in Amsterdam and made our way across Germany. We're not avoiding tolls. If it we is go that avoiding way. tolls. It's a lastly set look. Well, no, look, but look. Poland really likes vodka. And we stayed with some of Jack's family in the countryside. Jemima joined us in Prague because she's cool like that. And we headed to the official start line. Give the bag, give the bag. Okay, it did rain a bit, but it didn't go quite like that. Definitely Jack, yeah? No, Might be John. No, I can't remember. John Parton. Jack Parton. Jump Martin, that's the boy. Yeah, it's the Mongol Rally 2019, and you're about to have the best fucking eight weeks of your life. Are you excited?
What did we do last night, Leo? A little wild camping in the middle of nowhere. How was it? Cold and scary, but good. And now we're packing up the car and going down to the lake and then we're driving to the trans fagara gara -Sara -San road beautiful supposed to be one of the nicest roads in the world and tonight we go down to bucharest anything else to add um that's your coat do you mind me anything to add no <laughs> <laughs> cool Just like that, the fate of our adventure was in the balance. Our car's engine was diagnosed with something called Rodnock, Google it. And we spent a few tense days in a small Romanian town, waiting. <laughs> oh my god, these cogs are so cute! Impact, mm. understand? Yeah. Yeah. Very big, poof! <laughs> Call it luck, call it karma, or call it 1,000 euros being thrown at the problem. We were back. Skipped Bucharest because of our delay and met up with our friends in Istanbul. He's the happiest cat in the world. He's just had a fresh fish fished for him straight down the belly. <laughs> Oh, skirt! Wait, 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 wait,
wait, wait. Fia. Oh. BMW. Ah. And cut. Cool, cut there. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey. Drag race? Where are we going, Alex? Welcome to Asia. Dun, 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 dun. We decided to raise the suspension on our car, and we got a free scrapyard tour. Wow. What would you say this is, like third floor down? Yeah. Oh yeah, my. It gets colder and colder. Yeah, it's actually nice down here. Crazy. Ford? Yeah. Opel? Mm -hmm. BMW? Yeah. Amazing. Renault? Mitsubishi? Toyota? Uh, Subaru? Yeah. Ta Tata? Yeah. Uh, Volvo? Hyundai? Yeah. Renault gene aşağıda. Together. Wash the hands. Wash the hands. Go wash your hands. Alright, first bite. Mm. Lovely. Whoa. Absolutely. Absolutely lovely. Come have a seat, Rory. Oh, thank you, darling. What's happening right now? It is 20 to 5 in the morning um, and we're going to see a sunrise which as to not morning people doesn't really feel worth it right now but I'm sure in about an hour's time it probably will.
Azerbaijan. <laughs> How goes it? It goes very well. Good, Just good. Oh. Oh my god. Get the cows out. <laughs> Holy shit! This is a bizarre country. <laughs> this is such a bizarre country. <laughs> the Mongol rally has begun. We drove straight through the night. The destination was the port of Alat, where we'd crossed the Caspian Sea. This process is infamously difficult. Leo, I'm so scared right now. So that's swaying me towards the express express way. Way. And if we sense. if we put money into their economy, they'll like us more. He's a travel oh, agent. Yeah. And he does all, all the information. He's got all the information. Basically, sack oh, that guy. That guy's gone. We're done with it. We're done with it. It's sixty-five dollars. To wait around 50, for a whole day. Difference. Sixty-five to oh, save us change. five mm. hours on the boat and, and a whole day, day over here, here. Yeah. or more days. Old. And they're off, the Mongol Rallyers. The ferry was supposed to take a day, but it took three, so things got a bit weird. I'm talking eggs in plastic, sausages in plastic, anything in plastic you want. Hey man, this is the Mexican side of the ship, you know. Here we sell tequilas, eh, quesadillas and all that shit. And if you wanna fuck with us, I bring all the pinche cousins and then we fuck with you, man. This is how it goes. Is that a video? Yeah. Maybe I have toothpaste all around my mouth. No, you're okay. Uh, we're ending this magnificent trip of four days. On this boat uh, with five star resorts of uh, with amazing English people. Uh, 
Hey Jack, hey, quick round up of what just happened. So basically what happened was we got given the white paper which we then paid $190 for which was the insurance paper but then when we got through the security checks we needed the other insurance paper which so we went back to get that insurance paper and we get that insurance paper after the four stamps from the other insurance including the veterinary insurance and the plant so insurance. So we, we went to the other top, window to get the two other pieces of paper, however that was the wrong window. So we had to go white back paper to get the blue paper, to get however then we needed to pay $20 extra. So we had to go back to the finally get the blue piece of paper, however we needed one more piece of white paper. Once we got blue piece of paper, we got to leave. And now we are in beautiful Turkmenistan. In the middle of the desert, in the center of this strange country, is the gates of hell. A perpetually burning giant hole. Nice. Pas trop fort, pas trop fort, sinon ça va ça va se Non non, tu vois quoi Non non non. Oh Ben. Good morning, Leo. Where's your car? Uh, really, really, there. really far away. <laughs> We've been pranked. Around 40 million people visit the UK every year. In Turkmenistan, this number is only 8,000. In this part of the world, you're treated like a celebrity everywhere you go. This was an entire wedding. <laughs> okay, she wants a photo. Okay there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. On the blue bit. They're all inside. Now, the boys. I think we might be about to. Wow. Hey, you're in. Yeah, yeah. You're in. Oh, I want to get in the photo. Suspension hurt badly. Let's see. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Shot. Oh, that's what they pay me for, baby. We are in Samarkand, beautiful city of Uzbekistan. It got destroyed by Genghis Khan, apparently, yeah. but they built it back up and it's beautiful.
began our drive on the Pamir Highway, an ancient passage through the mountains. Leo, what height are we at? 4,250. Jack, what's this supposed to be? Petrol station. But where? Tajikistan somewhere? Ooh, sick glass on this kid. Ooh, Ooh he got scared. <laughs> Jemima, Tajikistan, China, Jemima. <laughs> Run. <laughs> oh, wait, I must see that. Ah, oh, it's fucking mad. It's mid-August, and Jemima and I are about to touch snow. Wow. It's cold. <sighs> yeah, they're kind of having trouble, apparently. They what? So out of there. breath. Apparently they're gonna have to blow through the air filter soon. Oh shit, they're really? They're gonna have to blow through the air filter. Oh. The panda behind me. Why? Is it so dusty? <laughs> Jesus. Dusty, oh shit. Dusty and it's just lost all its power. Yeah, we should do cleaning up. I'll filter out. Now you could really feel the altitude. Shortness of breath, loss of appetite, and seemingly hot and cold at the same time. Or was that just me? But the cars pushed through. Alex just got stopped by radar, driving 100 in a 50 zone. Well, we talked our way out of that one. But you can't talk your way out of a flat tire. Especially if it's twice in a day. This is the last photo of all of us together. Over half of us fell ill with food poisoning. And after four days, Jack wasn't recovering. So we had to seek medical attention 
in Kazakhstan. So it's day two in the hospital. Well, uh, day two after night two in the hospital. Um, and I'm getting out today. I'm still not 100% better. Uh, but uh, it's good to be getting out of this slightly crazy hospital. The all bit manic in Kazakhstan uh, and aggressive and I feel like they're half trying to kill me whilst trying to cure me. Uh, I'm absolutely shattered. And yeah, it's uh, looking like it's home time for me. It's a great shame, it's gutting. Uh, it's been a very good trip, an amazing trip. Probably the best thing I've ever done in my life. Um, it's gonna be really hard to say goodbye. Mm. But yeah, it's for the best. Yeah. Right now. Wow. Is it pumpkin? Pumpkin. We can have pumpkin soup. <laughs> wow. Fun fact wow. in Kazakhstan, cannabis grows wild. Carol, man. <laughs> we met up with our French companions Hi. and they cheered us up. First of two entries into Russia, and boy did we enjoy being on smooth roads. up with Jemima's brother's team and finally we entered Mongolia Our car sounded great 
but others didn't. Today. We're meant to get to your Lambert door and we've broken down four times. The engine mount will be fixed about five times. It's gone again. Battery doesn't work. The, the wheel nearly came off. The back door came off. <laughs> oh my god, look at all the sheep's getting there. Oh my Someone didn't do the wheel nuts up. Mm. And what? There's like 400 kilometers to go, isn't there? 300, How many? 380. Really? That's really. Ne nearly there. Nearly, yeah. That's bad for you, isn't it? So we kept going, driving and driving, in the sun, in the rain, in the day, and at night. It's 9.15 on the 2nd of September. We are in a Mongolian field. Tomorrow we will be heading to the Russian border for the last 200 kilometers to Ulan Ude. Suddenly, it was over. We did it. We arrived at the finish line. 10,480 miles, 21 countries, and two engines later. Thank you. Now you're filming me. How do you know? <laughs> Because I actually having a little ride around on a carpet and a mattress. <laughs> yeah. So to answer the question of why we did this, would you like some chicken? I think it's because we wanted the unknown. We left our regular schedule at home and traded it for two months of uncertainty on the road. There were good times. There were bad times. Oh my god! It's McDonald's! But in between, we found a rich spectrum of experiences. It's a McDonald's Big Mac, not a McDonald's Big Mac. Like getting closer to your friends. In upset. Especially when you don't see them as much as you'd like. And making new ones. New memories. And something special. Seeing the world and what it has to offer. And when the adventure's over, we're thankful because we got to do something amazing. Something we'll never forget. Air miles have a price, but these ones were priceless. So now the question is, where to next?